wait a second. A motorcycle belt? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Please, please tell me that when he puts a key in that thing, a wheel comes out of his butt. Please, tell me, please, please! Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Double DX Axle Driver! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, you have a picture of the belt, you have Common Rider Axle, Common Rider Axle! On the top of the box, you have Common Rider Axle, picture of the belt, picture of Axle. And the memory on this side of the box, hey, look, it's Axel. On the other side of the box, hey, look, it's Axel. On the bottom of the box, you get the same thing that's on the top of the box, basically. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, does this, that, the other, all that good stuff. And, of course, you get Side Pack Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the Axle Driver, the henshin device of uh, Kamen Rider Axle, who is the secondary rider on Kamen Rider Double. Um, and a very cool character. I really like the character of uh, Ryu Teriyuri. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But um, very cool character, and I really like Axel's design. Now, I know the proper way to pronounce it is Excel, like accelerate, acceleration, but you know, on the show it says Axel, the memory sounds like it's saying Axel, so I say Axel. I don't know. His mama call him Clay, I'm gonna call him Clay, you know, so. Please don't get mad at me because I'm calling it Axel, okay? We, let's not argue over English, alright? But, um, here is the Axel driver, just to take a look at the driver itself. Very nicely done and obviously modeled after a uh, motorcycle. See right there, the accelerometer, right there in the center. And you can see me in the reflection. Hi! So, very nicely done. Nice sticker here. Nice chrome border. It's really nice. You know, it's really nicely done. Just really makes it pop. This thing is covered in that Bandai silver, which is really, really nice. You get some red details here. A little red here. Very cool. You get some nice metallic red here. On the ends there, a little white arrow just to tell you which way to turn the handle. But very, very nicely done. You get this little transclearing piece right here just to brace the, uh, I'm assuming this is the clutch. I don't know motorcycles. <laughs> so just to brace that to keep it from breaking anything. So you have the little transclearing piece there to, to brace that. Here you have the back piece right there that the, uh, the driver itself is connected to. Lots of molded details right there. Very, very cool. And this piece is removable. Um, there's a black button right here. You just push it and the driver pops right out. So you can see there's a lot more molded details right there. Looks very, very cool. And we can see the back of the driver itself again. Covered in that Bandai Silver. They even painted the back. Very nicely done. Some more molded details. You can see the handlebars themselves have some nice molded details. To give it that little rubberized feel. Even though it's not actually rubber, it just gives it that look. Which is really, really nicely done. And I really like that this is removable because you can, you know, recreate what the characters do on the show, and you can just take the driver and just slap it onto the belt. So I really like that when they incorporate that feature. And if you're actually wearing the belt, you can just hold onto this handle, push the button with your thumb, and just doop, pop it right off, which is really cool. You can just take the driver and just boom, slap it onto your waist like they do on the show. I always appreciate it when they incorporate that little feature. So that's really, really nice. And of course, being a belt, it does come with belt parts so here are the straps the left and the right and some nice molded details here as well and of course the center plate piece to you know hold the slack in again nothing really too fancy here it's pretty simple pretty basic and it's your standard common rider belt uh, clip here and you just you know push these two buttons and it depresses those two clips right there and you just take it now you match up the L and the R, and you just take it, clip it in, release, and boom. Clip in there, boom. So you got the belt all ready to go. So there you have that. And of course it does come with a Gaia memory, the Axel memory. 
Let me see the Axel logo right there. Axel, push the button and you'll get Axel. 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 That's why I say Axel. It just sounds like Axel. Axel. And of course, you get a bright, bright red LED in there. Very cool. So, uh, really, there's nothing left to do here but to uh, henshin. So, let's get right down to it. Let's bring things down a little bit here. And let's go. Hen. Shin! You just get that standby noise right there. You can see that LED going off in the screen right there. Now you can take the handle and you can rev it. You can do that as many times as you want. Or you can henshin by accident like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it again. Right. So again, you can rev as many times as you want. There you go. But if you want a henshin, you just take it and hold it back. Either method works. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. Now you have henchened into a common rider Axel, and uh, there you go. You can see the A logo there, prominently displayed in that little window right there. And there you go. Now to do your maximum drive, you're just going to pull the clutch. Get your standby noise and again. Turn the handle. And there you go. Not the most impressive maximum drive sound, but it's a maximum drive. And there you go. That's basically all this belt does. It is quite limited right out of the box, but it's still a cool, cool looking belt. But one thing about this belt that is really cool is that you can use other memories with it. So if you have a bunch of these rider memories like I do, you can use these in this belt. They are fully functional. Push it in and just turn the handle because turning the handle, all, all turning the handle does is just push this button. So it's great for these uh, candy toy and capsule memories. It, it it works perfectly. So so it works great with these memories. And also, if you have the dopant memory, it works for that. You can turn the handle. So it does work. The only thing is it won't cycle through the different noises. You will have to, if you want to go to a different dopant, you do have to take it out and push the button. And then put it back in. So it kind of works for the dopant memory. We yeah, have that. So why don't we try something else here? How about we take the axle driver out of here and we bring in the double driver. And let's see what it does with the double driver. So of course it's a gold tipped memory. So we have Cyclone here. Put in Cyclone. We put in axle. Get a rubbing noise out of this. And let's see what happens. Kind of, sort of works, but not really. Eh. This memory really, it, it kind of, sort of plays well with other memories, but not really. It's really meant to work by itself. So if you have a lost driver, this will work perfect with that. But um, still, pretty cool. I want to hench in one more time, just because. Hen. Hen. I just like shouting, that's all it is. <laughs> but there you
there you go. There you have the axle driver. Um, like I said, it is very limited. It doesn't do a lot right out of the box, but it still, it looks cool. And I really liked Axel on the show. I love the character. I love the design. So the belt is just, it's a really cool belt design, something really unique. And I do quite dig it. And I'm glad I have it. So if this interests you in any way whatsoever, by all means, pick it up. I believe BigBadToyStore.com actually does still have the uh, complete selection modification version of this belt. So if this interests you and you want to go full-fledged premium with this, then you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link, as always, in the description down below. They also have a selection of other common Rider toys that you can browse. So... I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Rider Double DX Axle Driver, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Boom in your face!